Robot vacuums are getting smarter and more useful with every release, covering wide swaths of price and ability categories and meeting the needs of pretty much every kind of user. Ecovacs is a name that some might know, but their line of robot vacuums encompasses the entire gamut of the spectrum, with dozens of different models for every price range. The D-Bot R95 is among the flagship products from the company and offers pretty much everything you can think of, from vacuuming to mopping, laser-guided mapping, and tons of virtual connected features. Hey everybody, it's Nick from Android Headlines, and this is our review of the Ecovax D-Bot R95. Ecovac seems to mostly specialize in the bargain price robot vacuum category, but the D-Bot R95 moves outside of that comfort zone and into a more premium market. Priced at $599, the R95 isn't nearly as expensive as offerings from iRobot or Dyson, but it costs quite a bit more than the seemingly comparably specced Xiaomi Mi robot vacuum. That extra price nets you extra features though, and ones that you might find are worth the cost. We can sort of call this vacuum modular, if you will, as it features a number of pieces that you can interchange depending on what you want it to do. The most obvious piece is the mopping accessory that snaps onto the bottom of the unit, taking up about half of the base of the unit itself. This accessory is brilliant in its design, featuring a reservoir that you can fill with 100 milliliters of water. As it sits on the back, the vacuum is able to use its normal sweeping and suction functionality before the wet mop makes a pass, letting it do both activities in one smooth motion. The pad itself is cloth and is both hand or machine washable and of course reusable, and there are two of these inside the package as well. You can use it more like a dry Swiffer as well, helping pick up any stray dirt or small particles the vacuum may have missed. The downside here is that it's not going to scrub your floors, so it's not a replacement for that. And the vacuum has no way of identifying carpet versus hard floors, meaning you'll either want to supervise it while using the mopping function or provide a way to block off carpeted areas before running the D-Bot. Also interchangeable is the suction piece underneath, which comes with a standard brush type roller out of the box. Folks with pets that have lots of hair may opt to remove this brush for everyday cleaning and instead replace it with the included brushless suction attachment, which simply sucks in anything it finds, making it more efficient for sucking up than a roller would be. Even if you get hair or strings caught in the roller though, it's easy to cut out thanks to the handy little cleaning multi-tool that's included under the hood of every D-Bot R95. This one also includes two side brushes instead of one, each of which rotate inward to pull debris towards the suction motor instead of attempting to shoot debris at it via a single brush. Suction rating is around 1400 PA or at least 200 PA lower than many competitors at this price range. This is both a positive and a negative, as lower suction of course means it's not going to suck as much stuff out of thicker things like carpet, but it also means that, at around 56 decibels while operating, this vacuum is considerably quieter than most other robot vacuums out there, or really any vacuum at all. I had no issue running the vacuum while at home, having a conversation or even watching a movie thanks to the low amount of noise, which really is nice considering a robot vacuum is not a replacement for ultra deep cleaning anyway. Dustbin design is excellent with a permanent pre-filter that's fully washable, keeping the biggest particles from ever touching the standard replaceable filter on the back of the bin. This means you won't have to clean or replace this paper filter as much as you would on other robot vacuums, and the overall design keeps the dust and junk inside the bin better than all but the Dyson 360i's design. The charging base looks similar to others, but I often had difficulties manually placing the vacuum on the charger as the pins are very small. Automatic charging does work fine though, so just be aware that when manually placing it, that the light should illuminate. It also takes an extremely long time to charge, around three to four hours for a full charge, which would really suck if the battery life weren't as good as it is. Despite that relatively small sounding 2850 milliamp hour battery inside, I never once saw the vacuum need a top up in order to finish the house during a full automatic clean. My 1200 square foot house isn't exactly the biggest one in the world, but the rated battery life from Ecovacs suggests that it should be able to clean in upwards of three to 4,000 square feet on a single charge. Intelligent navigation helps a lot with this great battery life, and navigation here is the smartest navigation we've seen yet on a robot vacuum. While Xiaomi's navigation still gets the win for being such a mathematical genius when it comes to breaking down the room into logical squares, the D-Bot R95 utilizes a similar laser-guided navigation array up top, combined with a set of proximity sensors on the front, keeping it from bumping into walls and objects most of the time. Even the objects it did bump into were done in a very gentle fashion, and it's this slow, methodical approach that makes the D-Bot R95 feel like such a careful precision tool. The only time I saw it get truly stuck was in the abnormally tall transition strips between the tile and wood floors in my home, and even 
then it wouldn't always get stuck. In fact, this one passed the shag carpet test, putting the D-Bot R95 in the elite category of robot vacuums, able to move over the shag with nary a stumble. As it moves through the home, the D-Bot R95 maps the surroundings in great detail, and even produces a map that you'll likely be familiar with if you've ever used another robot vacuum that does it. What's particularly nice here is that D-Bot highlights areas that have been cleaned, showing places it wasn't able to get to for some particular reason. This map is saved within the app after a successful cleaning, and that success part is the biggest problem with the vacuum as a whole. I never had an issue with the robot not cleaning the whole house by any means. However, if it does get stuck for seemingly any reason at all, it restarts the mapping process all over again, erasing any progress that had been made up until that point. This wouldn't be such a big deal if the map were just for status reports, but the map is actually used for some of the most killer functionality the vacuum has. With a complete map, the map itself can be maximized, and a whole slew of features are unlocked. These include manual control via a virtual joystick, virtual walls, area cleaning, and spot cleaning. The D-Bot R95 breaks the house up into rooms, denoted by letters and customizable names, and can be sent to clean any number of rooms specifically via this screen. In fact, going back to that intelligent navigation aspect, I had sent the vacuum to clean the back bedroom as a test to see how well it navigated, and one of the doors in the halls had accidentally gotten shut after the vacuum made its way to the back. Once it was done cleaning, it attempted to return the same way it came, only to find a door blocking the path. After a few seconds, the vacuum turned around and headed back the opposite way, coming around through the kitchen and back to its charger on a different path. This worked particularly well because of the rectangular layout of my house, but it was amazing to see it work so efficiently when a full map had been constructed. You can also set up virtual barriers in the form of a single line straight across two points, or a box of any size and shape within a room, keeping the bot from getting into places it shouldn't. These features all add up to the most amazing functionality we've ever seen from a robot vacuum, and make the issues with keeping a map saved that much more of a travesty. If Ecovacs can update the app to allow the permanent storage of a map, this would be hands down the cool robot vacuum in existence, but with these irritating map saving problems, the vacuum remains a bit of frustration for anyone wanting to use these more advanced features. As a pure automatic cleaning tool, however, the D-Bot R95 is a winner, and extra features like mopping and interchangeable suction components might just make this one worth the extra 200 bucks it costs over the Xiaomi Mi Robot vacuum for folks wanting a little extra oomph in their clean. We hope you enjoyed that review and will subscribe to us for regularly updated content. We're not just about phones as you can tell, we cover anything related to smart technology and how they interconnect, so feel free to chat with us in your favorite social media outlet and don't forget to check out AndroidHeadlines.com for 24-7 tech news coverage. Thanks for watching and until next time.